these two beautiful sites here in the White Mountains attract hundreds of people per day. And now they're not just more enjoyable, they're safer too. One, two, three. An improvement project at the Lower Falls Recreation Site in the White Mountains brings a new trail and viewing platform created to make things safer. People don't have to stand on a very slippery rock in high water. They can safely be up there, take it, get a beautiful picture of the falls. The governor hopes the project, which started in 2010 and has cost more than a million dollars, will pay off. The North Country is uh, our jewel, uh, and it's so important for the economy of the North Country that we promote travel and tourism. Tourism is our second largest industry in New Hampshire, and it's critical to the economy of the North Country. The improvements also help to protect the state's natural resources. It's our most um, popular day use area on the forest. Um, you know, we get five to six million people a, a year, um, not at this site, but on the forest, but many of them um, spend some time here during their visit. The Lost River Gorge and Boulder Caves in North Woodstock is experiencing its own growth. This expansion is the first big expansion since like the 1980s, so it's, it's very important to always have something new for visitors to see. This site now has a new boardwalk and bridge that allows visitors to see the gorge and caves in a whole new way. The project took two years and most of the work was done in the winter months. If you're out on that trail, you'll notice that the trees come up right up through the boardwalk. And the th same thing with the boulders, so you just, you're walking around them and, and uh, over the boulders. And that's, that's part of nature. It's something that impressed this family from Delaware. The way that they uh, built around the trees and the rocks and really captured nature in, inside of it. It was awesome. I'm really, really impressed. The two sites do have admission fees. That money goes to fund projects like the ones we've shown you today, and it also goes to helping to maintain those attractions throughout the year. Reporting in the White Mountains, Kristen Carosa, WMUR News 9.